You could call Scentsy a party plan company or a fragrance company. You could describe it as an award-winning industry leader in direct selling. Or you could say that Scentsy is a fun business opportunity for people all over the world. And you'd be right, but that's not the whole story. Scentsy is a feeling. It's passion, friendship, hope and love all wrapped up in amazing fragrance. What Heidi and I have tried desperately to do is create a cohesion culture where our hearts are knit together, where we value effort, embrace challenge, accept others for who they are, but never accept that where we are is the best we'll ever be. We cooperate to achieve together instead of compete to determine who is best. We set lofty goals and invite all to work toward them and invite those who have reached high levels of achievement to reach down and help others match their accomplishment rather than set up systems where the masses simply support the pedestal we use to prop up our winners. How cool is it that there are Cincy millionaires who you can't pull out of a crowd because they would rather help you reach your goal than disclose they have reached theirs. A cohesion culture looks like a healthy family where love, support, a shared sense of purpose and destiny, and a spirit of cooperation permeate every interaction. Where we are only as strong as the weakest among us. When love permeates our interactions, we become slow to judge and quick to forgive. We take the perspective that everyone has value, everyone can belong, even those who don't yet seem to fit. Maybe they hold cringeworthy opinions. They lack social graces. They're combative or angry or foul-mouthed or have said or done things that are hurtful or dark. We don't have to accept bad behavior, but we need to find a place in our hearts to hate the sin but love the sinner. When we judge people by their worst moment or worst statement or their former state of ignorance, we too are judged at our worst. Nothing could be more isolating nor oppressive. Division, fear, anger, and hate are the causes and the consequences of modern cancel culture. We must learn from our past, however, ug however ugly or abhorrent it may be, or we will be forced to relive it. We can't learn from something erased. Now here's a perspective to try when you feel a desire to cancel somebody, or even if you find them very difficult to be around. Imagine you're that person's mother or father, holding them for the very first time. You see them innocent and vulnerable. Your heart yearns for them to be happy, to grow up to be loved and supported and valued. You fear for the days they will be bullied or misjudged or neglected or lost. Put yourself in the place of their mother and then love them. A cohesion culture, sensi culture, is about shining the brightest light we have on the darkest places we find to bring the most value we can to a world of brothers and sisters who yearn to be loved and understood and belong. Sensi is a feeling. We are. Nosotros somos. Wir sind. Nous sommes. Wij zijn. Sensi. Sensi.